What is good, ladies and gentlemen? My God, we got the White Plague, and I always wanted to say that. Oh, God. I'm so upset. <laughs> People have been trying to do that from Xanadu for like the longest time. They used to call me and Tantalus the White Plague. Or me and Coney. Or Coney and Tantalus. Oh, I apologize. I thought it was original. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. <laughs> All right, so we got, we got Blood Cross here. And we got and next to me is the man, main man, Res Lift. Res Lift. What's up, everybody? And we are getting into this. This is going to be Pool 12, and I believe that's Dark Blues rocking the Bowser. Spaz. And Spaz? Yep, Spaz, the Lucas player. Nice. Has been doing super well in our region recently, and uh, cool. yeah, is, is, is Lucas is very, very good. And I remember Dark Blues as an Ivysaur main from like 3.0. Uh, but now then, he's, a, he's a Bowser main. He switched up. Which is weird, because apparently he got nerfed to hell in 3.6. But hey, Interesting. Shout, shout outs to you know him sticking with the Bowser and all that. Yeah, for sure. And he's been making it work. He's had some good results. Yeah. And let's see how it goes. Because I believe this is actually, they're getting right into it. Game number one. Yeah. Between Spaz rocking the Lucas and Dark nah. Blues rocking the Bowser. Now nah, it's a button check. It's yeah, I knew Spaz would ask for a button check because he's that guy. Oh, he is? Every time? Yeah. It's him and uh, Nizza. They're always going to button check no matter what. Oh, that's funny. And then, yeah, yeah. I call these button warmers. That's what this is. I'm taking off the hat. Screw this. Ah. I'm taking off the hat. Camera, what's up? Um, my apologies on the lack of info on Bowser's armor, but uh, I'm. Most I know, of it's I know gone. It, what? Most of it's gone. They yeah. nerfed the crap out of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm wondering if he can still tank uh, PK freezes, because it could either be helpful or he'll just take damage and then just get hit over and over and over, because he's a big guy. And yeah, I'm sure we'll see it in the match. Yeah. That's, that's something. If you can do it, you got to be able to tank PK freezes. That's huge. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. We look we at this thing. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Yeah, we're ready, guys. Are we about to begin? We are about to begin. Here they go, getting right into it. This time for real. Spaz rocking the Lucas. Free Saltines own Dark Blues rocking the Bowser. Free PS2. Saltines. Isn't that their name? What? Isn't that their tag? They're, yeah, they're free, free Saltines, my man. The freest of all of the Saltines. And now you see Spaz already just sticking with the PK freezes and able to get away from the crouch canceling right away. It looks like Spaz does have a grasp on the now matchup. Yeah, honestly, if he's just going to throw out PK freezes, Bowser can't really do much about it, even if he can tank it. I mean, yep. it, it covers so much distance. Yeah, that power shield is probably the best thing he has, but Spaz is at just this perfect range where it doesn't even affect him. Yeah, power shielding in general, it doesn't affect too much unless if you're at close range. So Dark Blues has got to take his time, but if he does get that one hit, Bowser is super strong, and he can kill Spaz really early. Yeah, for sure, but Spaz is just playing a great spacing game. Look at this, just PK freeze, PK freeze over and over. Nice. And he is in. Bowser's in. Let's see if let's see what he got. Neutral air. Border. Nice. That'll do it. Very nice combo. It's all he needs. Three hits, and that's it. Yeah, and Bowser's still got that chic forward air, basically. Yeah. That's very strong. And it has deceptively large range, too. All right, and we see Dark Blue. Is he knows the SDI down and then tech. That's how you deal with Lucas's down air. Ooh. So, and then what, he'll get a fast fortress right out of wake up. Oh, good DI from Spaz. Spaz knows. If you actually get grabbed by that Koopa Claw and hold in, you, you die to an up air. Yeah. So at least Spaz is aware. But this might be Nair to forward air again? No, not this time. He's going to DI away again. This uh, time he actually gets it, and Spaz is having a lot of trouble. Dark Blues is going super hard. There we go. That'll be an up smash. So at yeah. least he gets one stock just like that. But he's a full stock behind. He's going to get that full charge. Maybe he can bring it back with something quick, but I don't know. Yeah, Spaz does have those Lucas combos on deck, but again, he, he, he did lose the armor, but it looks like it's still helping him out in some way. I mean, he hasn't missed like a, most of his power shields on PK Freeze. Like, that's yeah. just crazy how good he is at that. All right, shield poking the last hit of that neutral air, but Bowser oh. doesn't care. He actually missed time that up air. That was a free up air for um, Dark Blues. He just overshot it. Now, I'm wondering how he's going to ed edge guard the tethers. Oh, get up attack, that's right. Oh, and unfortunately, Spaz misses the ledge. Now down two whole stocks. Man. It's not looking good for him right now. Dang. New England, you going to go down like that? I mean, uh, that's how we all expected New England to go down. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even MDVA. This is like New Jersey and New York. Yep. Who, are you, who are you rooting for at this point? <laughs> I mean. That doesn't matter. And, oh, I thought he was going to downer him out of that uh, yeah. up B. Yeah, that's and true. He's kind of fishing for it at this point. And here he goes. He's going to get it there. But great DI. Uh, I, was, I was expecting the back here. 
the forward hitbox would have just sent them to the stage. I mean, blast zone. Oh, probably. And Dark Blue is just taking his time. He knows he's got time to kill. He's ahead on stocks. Gonna make Spaz find a way in. And Bowser's moving on platforms. It's surprisingly uh, tricky. It's yeah. Very, very tricky. If you watch, uh, you know, D for Def's Bowser back in the day, it was so tricky. And I'm sure Dark Blue's has taken notes. And that up he had a shield is key, because now Lucas is in the air, and that forward air is going to take it. Yeah, nicely done by Dark Blue. It's a quick three stock. He is all over Spaz. Spaz needs to come up with something to Dang. deal with this. Massachusetts, man. New England looking mighty weak right now. A, a little bit in that regard, yeah. Just a little. Just a little bit. Three hey. stock in three minutes. That's three minutes? All right, wow. Yeah. Looks like yeah, he's getting coaching from literally all of New England. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> And we got this Dark Blues, just Dark Blues. Yeah, that's a Dark Blues cam, apparently. Yeah. No, that's been happening. We kind of like moved those webcams eventually, but hey, whatever. Yeah, it looks fine. Yeah. As we'll figure out what Dark Blues decides to ban, it looks like he's still thinking it out. FD and Dreamland. Yeah, those are two really good stages for, for Lucas. Uh, FD basically guarantees all of Lucas' stuff works, and then Dreamland, he just kind of lives forever, which is a nightmare for Bowser. Yeah. Although Bowser lives forever on Dreamland, but he, he lives forever, period. So it, it doesn't really matter to him. He just want, he wants to keep it close. Like He wants to keep Spaz pressured. He doesn't want to have those PK freezes on deck. Absolutely. Looks like Delvino's secret is going to be the counter pick. He's just thinking it over right now. Maybe. I, I, I don't know who would actually go there. Right? <laughs> Fly Swatter Riz lived. Yeah, dude. I got this. I got this going on. Ow. That rash, yeah. Yeah, so I'm trying to keep bugs away from it. Yeah, true. That sucks. It's not a rat. I got stung. I got stung by a hornet. So, I, is he going to... Oh, yeah. Is he going to switch to Squirtle? Because Spaz does have a Squirtle. I'm not really sure of this matchup. Maybe X. maybe he's planning on dancing all around Bowser, because that's what his Squirtle does. X. Just dances all over you. But I'm pretty sure Bowser can just crouch cancel and up B. Yeah, like, that, is, that is exactly how it works. Squirtle has a really rough time in this matchup. Yeah. It's it's kind of silly because Bowser can just cross cancel everything. That's kind of what Squirtle loses to in general. Yeah. Right, of, course, of course he can up. bait the crouch cancels out, but he's so small and doesn't and lacks the range. He has to really, really commit to, go, to making a read in Bowser's neutral. Yep. It, it's just going to be really hard. So I'm looking for him to stay, Lucas, but... We are going to see the Squirtle going there to Smashville. Is. Yeah, I figured Smashville would be the stage. Yeah, after FD was banned out, this is the best thing he's got. But I think Dark Blues looks pretty confident in this matchup. Even not just the characters, but also a player matchup. Nice and al down. Already 48% right off the bat. But Spaz is not a... Oh my god. Woo. Just <laughs> throws it out. Let's see how far Squirtle just um, slide it back. Like, he could not punish that at all. Exactly. And now you see right there, that up out of shield is going to be the main way that Dark Blues can just build up damage. That was a nice down smash. But the platform saves him. His jump was gone, and he could have got tacked on one more forward air at least. But, of course, one, that platform is going to help out Bowser in, in his recovery. All right. Overcommits on that grab, but Spaz missing the follow-up. Interesting choice of up throw. Up throw doesn't actually work unless you're doing it to fastballers. I see more uh, forward throw and down throw, and that's the DI mix-up. Yeah, because if you're trying to throw heavies, obviously it's going to take longer for you to act out of it. But And just up tilts him out of the side B. That was pretty hype. He's going to take that first stock. Yeah. Dark Blue's at high percent. Let's see if he can put on any damage before he goes down. This is... And Spaz is taking his time to just wait for him. But, yo, that fire breath on deck... He tried to go for down tilt, and I'm pretty sure that would have been the waterfall. Wow. But that down throw is going to do it just as nicely. And he puts on the shades, and yeah. now he can't get hit. Yo, yo, they say Spaz puts on the shades when he's sandbagging. No. <laughs> but uh, well, he's having having a difficult time here. Yeah, and those shades are gone now, so he's not as cool anymore. You can't, I can't even see the shades. They're like, gone. That, that ninja outfit is, like, in the way. Trying to up B, trying to up B. Spaz yeah. trying to bait that, but Dark Blue's nose. And he gets a punish on the up B. Let's see what he does. Nice. And he baits the get up attack, but he doesn't actually beat it out. He jumped by accident, I think. Yeah. It looks like Bowser is trying to crouch cancel everything, but he's ending up in a tech chase position instead of teching it. Nicely done. And he just yes. charges that up smash over the ledge, gets him with that hitbox, and Spaz taking the first lead he's had all set. Yeah, exactly. But one back, one forward air is going to kill Squirtle. Nice. And that 
That was really good interception, but unfortunately he got a weak hit of back here. And Spaz is still in this. Yeah, he's putting on so much damage. Look at this. Look at him go. 67 already. All these precise combos. Good stuff to Spaz right now. I feel like Dark Blues is starting to panic a little bit. He gets that down smash, and that'll be the stock. Yeah. And at least even stocks. Maybe he'll calm down a bit. And Bowser does have those panic options. That can just work. That up B, that down smash even. Oh, that grab is insane. Yeah, that uh, Hydro Plane grab. Really nice stuff. Mm. Spaz now has a chance to edge guard, and he's going to go for the up smash again, but this time Dark Blues. Great fade back to make sure he gets back to the ledge safely. But yeah. S-Match will take it. Two socks to one. Spaz, this is not what we saw in game one, that's for sure. Absolutely not. And this is beyond our predictions as well. Yeah. He, he's not able to crouch cancel and, and punish things. He's ending up on the ground instead. Yeah, right there he crouch canceled it, but he didn't do anything with it. Yeah. Nice power shield. That's going to open up. Oh, he tried to neutral air, then bring him back to the stage and forward air, forward air probably. And another down smash. Does he get a follow up? He goes for up air. No, good stuff to Spaz. Retreating all the way to the platform. Yeah. Two stocks to one. He's just letting Dark Blues have stage control because he knows he has the lead. He's going to uh, lose the stock right there. Spaz is not happy about that, but he is in the lead. Oh, no. That was nice. scary. That could have been a punish on shield. But and Can he get this edge guard? No, another great fade. And now it's up to Dark Blues to get this edge guard. But no, Spaz turns it right around, has the edge guard himself. Back air. And now it's all up to this up B. And he cannot make it back. Spaz takes the game. We're going to game three. Good stuff to Spaz, bringing it back with the Squirtle and not Lucas. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the Lucas icon over there. <laughs> so now it comes down to what gets banned and what can Bowser do about Squirtle. The big flat open space definitely favored Squirtle. I wouldn't be surprised to see like a Yoshi's or WarioWare counter pick just because Bowser loves those stages. Yeah. But if those get banned out, we might see Green Hill Zone. Or maybe Battlefield. Yeah, Battlefield for the platforms. I like it. I, I absolutely agree with this. So let's see what Spaz can do about the stage here. But more so Dark Blues utilizing those platforms. Yeah, I think Dark Blues is really heavily reliant on platform movement to move around. And big open spaces is where Squirtle tends to thrive. So yeah. now that there are these platforms there, can he try and mix it up? Can he move around a bit more? Looks like he's still going for the crowds cancel strategy. As you see right there, he ended up yeah. getting floored again. Spaz has been doing less neutral airs this time and a lot more forward airs and back airs. And he's just been eating those up and taking down tilts in the process. Nice grab. Good follow up with forward air. Sometimes you only need one follow up in order to get more momentum. And there you go, he's off stage. But again, I'd much rather see him go for forward throw, if not down throw, because we know that every time uh, Spaz gets a grab, Dark Blues is actually DIing straight out. So if he gets down thrown, he can actually get put into a really bad uh, position, because that move sends you straight out. Speaking of powerful moves, that Koopa Claw almost got him. Yeah, he. Uh, that's another move where if you hold it straight out, bad things will happen to you. Yeah. Nice. Up he had a shield, and that's going to be do it. Uh, I can't believe that killed at this percent, but Squirtle's so light. Yeah. He's going to come back down. Needs to find a way to end this stock quickly, make it an even game. Over committing on that back here, and. But unfortunately, he gets a weak waterfall, and Dark Blues is still in. Ooh, he actually power shields. Looks for a grab, but Spaz with great spacing gets the punish. It's three stocks apiece. Yeah, and that grab range is really bad. You're better off just up being out of shield. Unless if you unless if you're really close, but that grab range is pretty bad. But Spaz is back on stage. And I like the fact that the platforms on Battlefield sort of give Dark Blues more reason to use Uppy out of shield. Because if it connects, it's not like someone can just fall down and punish at low percents. They have to get through the platform. Yeah. Nice. And now he's again. Yeah, now he's adapting to the shell. And all he has to do is Uppy out of shield. And nice try with the back here. Try to intercept with the shell. That would have, you know, been some damage for sure. And see that trajectory the back air sends him, like, dang. Squirtle could literally die just from that. Oh, and something traded there. Squirtle not dead quite yet, but another big hit, and that'll definitely be it. All right, and he's definitely fishing for these up Bs now. If, if Spaz stays away from a shield and goes for more grabs, and, and that neutral air. Oh, oh no! And he's gone. Not aware that oh, no. that was an option. He takes the Bowser Bomb to the face, loses the stock a little prematurely. Yeah, that's one way to get caught off guard by Bowser. Yeah, for sure. It's actually a good way to recover because you're, you're going to snap the ledge right away and then he's, he's going to sit on you. You don't want a Bowser to sit on oh, you. Oh, no. And Spaz, after eating that Bowser Bomb, has totally fallen apart. Oh, jeez.
Can he get this stock? He goes for a down throw. Yeah, he knows to DI that. And maybe F throw fair was the play at that situation. Just gets another one. He goes for down throw again. He's, He's gonna go for some more pummels. Or at least realize that the DI is in. Yeah. Forward throw fair is a true combo if he gets that inward DI. That's very true. But again with these uppies out of shield and all Dark Blues has to do is just stay in shield. That's and stay, stay, stay to the middle stage. Yeah, he's staying safe, Spaz. Looks like he's running out of ideas. He gets forward aired right there. Is this about to be another three stock for Dark Blues? Wow. Possibly. Uppy out of shield, Spaz. Fishing for hits. Can't figure out how to approach. Yeah, he's trying to put out the flames. But sometimes that doesn't work in Smash. And that could be it. Yes, it is. Dark Blues takes it in a second three stock after Spaz SDs, unfortunately. Oh, jeez. So Spaz comes out of that pool with second place. Dark Blues will be going on with first. Yep. I do it. Ah, shoot.